Please rise. Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The word of God that I've chosen to share with you this morning is taken from the gospel reading that Pastor Lee just read for you. I share with you today at verse 9. Jesus is speaking to his disciples and he says, Whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. This is the word of God before us this morning. Please be seated. Well, we have a lot of new technologies today, like AI, that helps us to communicate with one another better. But sometimes these new technologies, they don't understand us. Back in 2003, a police department in New Orleans, in Louisiana, they uh, had to replace an advanced voice recognition call system Now, why did they have to replace this new system? Well, it's because this new technology, it didn't understand the southern accent. It happens sometimes. Sometimes new technologies can't understand you. Even Google Translate, which processes over a billion words every day, in about 103 different languages, they sometimes get it wrong. Back in the 2018 Winter Olympics, Norwegian chefs contacted Google Translate to order 150 eggs for their Olympic Village breakfast. Well, Google Translate misunderstood them. And instead of getting 1,500 eggs, they got 15,000 eggs for breakfast. Sometimes the problem isn't that technology hears us, but sometimes the problem is technology doesn't understand us. And that's the same way with people too, isn't it? There are some times when people will hear what we're saying, but they won't understand us. And that's what happened to Jesus. Jesus knew all about this. Jesus knew that in a lot of his teachings, people would hear it, but they wouldn't understand what he was talking about. And that's what we find in the Word of God before us here this morning. There was a large crowd that was gathered around Jesus, but they were gathered around him for the wrong reasons. They loved to hear his different teachings. It excited them. And they loved to be excited by seeing Jesus' miracles. But Jesus didn't give in to all this popularity. No, Jesus knew that even if large gatherings of people would hear his teachings, many of them wouldn't understand him. And very few of them would actually follow his teachings. So how is it with you today? How would your life look if you understood the teachings of Jesus and if you actually lived out those teachings in your life. Listen to what Jesus is teaching his disciples here today. Now, there's a large crowd. You can imagine a lot of people gathered around Jesus. And Jesus, the Bible tells us, is talking to them in a parable. Now, a parable, it's an earthly story that has a heavenly type meaning. So, Jesus tells them a story about a a, a farmer who's planting seeds. And as he's throwing out his seeds, some of the seeds fall on a hard path that people walk on. And the seeds can't get down into the soil, so birds come and they immediately take the seeds away. Then Jesus says, some of the seed fell among rocky ground, where the soil was really shallow, and so the little plants, when they grew up, They didn't able to take good root, and so the sun came up, scorched them, and they died. Jesus then says some other seeds that this farmer was throwing out fell among thorns. And the little plants grew up, and the thorns grew up around them, and the thorns choked out the plants so that they died. And then Jesus says some of the seed that the farmer was throwing out fell on good soil, and that Those those plants, they grew up to produce a great crop. And then Jesus finished this parable by saying these words, Whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. 
Now, Jesus goes on to explain here that the uh, seed that the farmer's planting, that's actually the word of God. And the soil that the word of God falls into, that's you and me. That's the hearts of people. Now, here we see some, very clearly that some of the seeds fall onto good soil, which means some people hear the word of God and they follow it. But other seed here falls on either rocky or shallow or, or hard soil and people don't listen and they don't follow what Jesus says. So how do we know today? If we are really listening to Jesus and understanding him, and if we're following him in our lives. Well, first of all, if we understand Jesus, then we're going to be growing around God's word. That's what Pastor Lee talked to the children about today, didn't he? About growing with God's word. You see, people who understand the words of Jesus and live by them, they're going to continue to grow in their Christian lives. Now, that's very difficult for people who think that they're good enough by themselves without Jesus. Because many times, growing in their lives, they're going to think it's all about just doing the best you can, living the best life you can. But it's not that. It's really more about living more like Jesus in our lives. You know, the more we understand the words of Jesus, the more our actions and our values and our thoughts are like Jesus. We're different. The Apostle Paul talked about how we're different in the book of Galatians in the Bible, chapter 5. And Paul, in that book, tells the characteristics of a Christian are these. Love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness, and faithfulness, and self-control. Paul says those are characteristics of a Christian. The authors, Greg Hawkins and Callie Parkinson, they wrote a book that was based on research that they did among a thousand different churches. And in their research, they asked this question, what is the main factor that contributes to a believer's spiritual growth? Well, the Number one answer to that question was reflecting on God's word. Reflecting on God's word. Wow. Being around God's word is the way we grow in our Christian lives. And those who understand this and those who put this into practice with Jesus, they're going to grow in their Christian lives. Secondly today, if we understand what Jesus is saying here today, then it will show in our actions. It'll show in our actions. We see this so clearly in the life of Jesus himself. You know, Jesus, he always showed love and care to people around him when he was on this earth. Even those people that others would reject, Jesus always cared about them. And then as we see Jesus on this earth, he was always on the move, wasn't he? He was always talking about love and forgiveness and, and eternal life in heaven. When he talked to people in their homes, when he talked in the churches, and when he talked in the countryside. Well, I like the way the theologian Marcus Borg talks about this. Marcus says this, being Christian includes participating in God's passion for the world. That's a good description, isn't it? When people see us, in our, and when they see Christians, they should see people who have a passion for serving Jesus and for serving others in this world. I see this with so many of you here in our church all the time. I see this when you're serving Jesus and others by being an usher or a greeter or an elder in our church. I see this when some of you are serving in our music ministry or in our altar guild ministry or in teaching children and youth and adults in our Sunday school. You're passionate 
about serving Jesus and about serving others around you. You understand the teachings of Jesus and you put them into action in your lives. Then thirdly, if we really understand Jesus, we will want to lead others to trust in Jesus too. I see this again as all of you continually talk about Jesus, as all of you continually share the love of Jesus with others, as you tell them Jesus died on a cross and rose from the dead for them, as you tell them that they can have forgiveness for all of their sins, that they can overcome the fear of dying and they can have eternal life in heaven through their trust in Jesus. I again see this every day in you. Did you notice here today that only one-fourth of all the seeds that the farmer planted ever produced any fruit? It's sad, but it's true. Only one-fourth of those seeds did any good. Well, for many people, they hear. They hear the words of Jesus, but they're not producing fruit. Don't let that happen to you. What kind of life do you want to live? If you understand what Jesus is teaching here today, you'll want to be growing around God's word in your Christian lives. If you really understand what Jesus is teaching you today, you'll want to put your faith into action. If you really understand what Jesus is saying to you today, you'll want to lead more people to Jesus and to heaven. You'll want to lead them to trust in Jesus for their lives. Today, Jesus says to all of us, whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. God bless you. Amen. Let's now stand as we join together in the next Song of Praise.